Let's practice factor by grouping. We're going to do the same steps that we did before without writing it all out. So the first thing we're going to do is group my two, my first two terms and then my last two terms. Okay, and we're going to look at our first two terms only. I'm going to ignore these last two here. I'm going to say what do 21k cubed and 84k squared have in common? And the number that divides into both is 21. And then the smallest exponent is k squared. So I'm going to divide both of these by tw um, 21k squared. That's a 2. It's supposed to be a 2. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing with the last two terms. I'm going to look for the GCF, and the GCF of 15k and 60 is just a 15. That's the only thing they have in common. So I'm going to pull out the 15, and then again I'm going to divide both terms by 15 since I'm pulling that out. Okay, so now we're going to simplify and I'm going to have 21k squared. Here these all, 21's cancel and k cubed divided by k squared is just k minus um, 84 divided by 21 is 4 and the k squared cancel plus 15. Here the 15's cancel and left with k minus 60 divided by 15 is 4. Okay, so again we know if we've done this right, if these factors right here are the same, which they are in our case, so we have a k minus 4 that they have in common, so I'm going to pull that out in front. And then what I have left, once I pull that out over here, I have a 21k squared. And over here I have a positive 15. And that's factored. Okay, so let's try b the same way. This one's going to be a little different. We have to be careful with our negative signs. So I'm going to put the first two together and the last two together. In the first two, the GCF of 42 and 36 is 6, and then they have an M in common. And so I'm going to divide both of these by 6M. Okay, now let's look at the last two terms. Now first of all, they both have a negative sign. So when they both have a negative, I am going to pull out a negative. So put a negative first. And then the only thing they have in common is an n squared. They don't have any number in common. So I'm going to divide both of these terms, make sure you keep the signs that they have with them, by negative n squared. Okay, so now let's just simplify this and see what we have. Over here we have 4c plus 6d minus n squared. Over here the negative divided by negative is positive and I get 7c. Again a negative divided by negative is positive and I get 6d. Because in both cases here the n squared cancels and here also the n squared cancels. So now you should see that I have the factor 7c plus 6d in common. So that's what I'm going to pull out in front. And then we're going to write what we have left. So when I pull the 7c plus 60 out, over here I'm left with a 6m. And over here I'm left with a negative n squared. And that's factored.